is we're going to talk about the universe itself and okay. its origins, okay? So many people have said that the universe may have come about naturalistically, but yet the mechanisms for this natural origin of the universe are very vague, aren't they? Yep. Yeah, the theory is popularly known as the Big Bang, mm -hmm. or one of the more popular ones now, mm -hmm. and it in itself requires a supernatural origin. And so, even oh, though it wow. might be, you know, cloaked in you know fancy-sounding terminology, mm -hmm. it's always an appeal to a false god. Be it uh, it started a singularity, or somewhere outside the universe, there's this multiverse generator, or, or depending on which part of the, or, or which version of the theory people want to go with, they always appeal to the supernatural. So, I want to right up front state that the there is no naturalistic theory for the origin of the universe uh, because it requires a supernatural origin. Well, of course, so we're not going with our <coughs> laws, known laws in physics. We're having to appeal to a supernatural power. Right, right, because the, uh, they'll say, well, the laws of physics didn't you know, exist before the universe existed. <laughs> Time didn't exist for you. Well, but that's an appeal to the supernatural. Yeah. You know, uh, it kind of, kind of reminds me of you know, the question when you know, Genesis 1-1 says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Mm -hmm. And people say, well, okay, then who created God? If, if God created the heavens and the earth, who created God? But that's the whole point. When it says in the beginning, that means God created, created time, time also. Uh, because God created time, he has to be outside of time. And anything outside of time, by definition, can't be created. It can't have a beginning uh, because it's outside the dimension of time. And so first verse of the Bible addresses that problem. And, you know, again, people that don't want to put their faith in the Bible, they try to tap dance around the issue <laughs> or they, you know, they just... Um, make things up or try to sound technical, but it always appeals to a supernatural origin. But, and yet they call it science, and they say yeah. that there's this abundance of evidence for <clears throat> yeah. the Big Bang Theory. Yeah, at best it's religion, okay. and it's really, it's almost to the point now I would almost call it also fake science. Uh, wow. Some of the uh, reasoning behind that, you're right now we have to make up about 96% of the universe for okay. the Big Bang, basically for what the theory would predict to match our observations. Uh, we need roughly 23% uh, of the universe to be what they call dark matter. Okay. We need about 73% of the universe to be what they call dark energy. And so we're making up 96% of the universe. Hmm. And so that's starting to not be too scientific. And yeah. when you really think about that, if I'm allowed to um, uh, make up that much of the universe, well, is there any theory that someone could postulate that I couldn't force to match any observations I wanted to? In other words, I have my observations, yeah. then I can make up 96% of the universe, and then I have this theory. Well, if I do that, I mean, there is literally no... You can fudge the theory yeah, there however is, There's you absolutely want. no theory that I couldn't pretend is supported by my observations. It's like, uh, without getting too fancy, you know, don't, no algebra allowed, but if I yeah. say, uh, if x plus y is 100, uh -huh. what does x equal? Well, just, just give me a number. Five. Five, you're absolutely right. Because <laughs> Y is 95, uh, you know, X is, X is five, oh. Y is 95, you're right, the answer is 100. You can uh, solve it no matter and, uh, what I say. Yeah, but yeah, yeah no, say you said it's 20, I say you're absolutely right. X is 20, Y is 80, the answer is 100. Now say I get down the road, I get a little smarter, I say, uh -huh. I really wish the answer was 200 instead of 100. Uh -huh. Okay, well, guess what, your, your two answers were fine. Because now if X is five, I just make Y 195. If X was 20, I just make Y 180. So. Once I'm allowed to put that much fudge factor in, um, it, it ceases to be science. I mean, even though it's presented as being scientific, uh, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. You also have things like inflation. You have, you have all of this, basically, fudge factors is the best way to describe it, that have had to be added to try to pretend that the Big Bang is a scientific theory or a real theory. Isn't that fascinating? Now, you mentioned <coughs> inflation. Break that down for Okay, so let's, let's start with... The very yep. beginning, many people would say that space and time began to expand, right. that the universe was created as it went 14 billion So then billion space had to expand extremely rapidly, okay. and then that expansion had to stop. We have no idea why it would have done that. Yeah, we can just, but to make the theory work, that's uh -huh. what has to happen to try to match some of the other data that we see today. And so, so the, the theory is kind of, I guess you'd say, just rife with those kinds of, of, of assumptions. You know, it's... Um, a lot, a lot of people have noticed this. I want to make it clear also, there's, it's not that Christians are alone in noticing these facts. Uh, I'll read a, a quote. Uh, his former NASA administrator, Mike Griffin, a really smart guy, great guy. Yeah. Um, but he, um, he, he's justifying, you know, why do we explore space? Mm -hmm. And he says, what is the value of discovering that literally 95% of the universe consists of dark energy or dark matter, terms for things that we as yet know nothing about, but they make up 95% of our universe? 
See, and what, what he's saying is that dark energy and dark <clears throat> matter are just terms for saying we don't know? Yeah, or they have to have specific properties. Okay. But again, those properties and the percentages are defined to try to make the observations match what the theory would predict. 